Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about side hustles. So no, of course you're going to know like you have your main job, right? You have your job that you go to whatever fixed set of hours during the day or during the night, you got that job. Or let's say you're in school and you your lunch money now work or you don't have any money and you need to find money. That's what I'm calling side jobs or hustles. Anything you need to do to earn your money outside of your daily activity, which is school or another job. So basically, I've here I've listed the five types of side hustles that I know about. And of course, you can comment down below any extra ones after I'm done, but hear me out. So the first thing I wanted to mention was basically tutoring or educating. And I want to put this in its own section because it's not only a providing a service. So let's say you're good at math, right? And you're now in university and you're really good at Cape math. Why not tutor people from your high school? You already know all these stuff. You don't have to purchase anything. You're probably still going to school, so you have paper if anything. They have all their textbooks. All you need to do is make yourself available, make some time. Or for example, you're a photographer and you just have a day job, but you're really good at, you know, editing your pictures or whatever. Why not teach somebody? Why not start a class teaching people how to edit videos or edit photos? Side also number two. Providing a product or a service. And now this one is going to sometimes require some investment. So you might have to purchase, if it's a product, you might have to purchase the raw materials or purchase a product to sell for a profit. But the point is you're gonna have to invest money first. And then if it's a service, you whatever tools you're using, you're gonna have to purchase. Especially like applying makeup, you know, those kind of stuff. If that's the service you're providing, you're going to have to invest in it first. So that's why I separated this from the tutoring. Now, of course, when you have your capital and you invest, now you go out, find people that need your service and make them spend money for you to do it because people always don't, because people don't always have time or the skills to do something that you might already be good at or you can train yourself to do, even video editing. Like, you can train yourself to be really good at it and go edit videos for people. And then the next thing that you can do as a side hustle is rent. So basically, renting renting anything, it doesn't require to you, for you to be physically there. It's not a whole other job, it's just an additional thing on the side. Let's say you have some equipment that other people use that, and people, don't, people tend not to have just lying around. Why not rent it out? Make some money off of it because you have it, you're not using it 24-7 and you don't have to leave your day job to do this thing. This is something that you, you, do, you give it to them and you get it back and you only do those transactions when you're not at work. So that's definitely another thing that you can look at. You can look at renting. Another side hustle you can think of is creating websites or doing YouTube and earning money from ads. So I know it's not that easy, but <laughs> the point is when you've created this website or have a YouTube video, every time ads come up on the video, you earn a little income. It might not be a lot, but it's something you can consider. So even just having a blog and having ads on it, you can earn money from that. So that is another side hustle. Like, like I said, it's, it's, not, it's probably not that much, but it is an option. And then the last side hustle I can think of is taking up another job. The reason why I listed this last is because, I mean, you've already had your whole work day and sometimes taking a whole other job is not easy. But for the students, it might be a little bit easier because let's say your day at school is very short. So you can take up a part-time job somewhere and earn some money. Now, as an adult, th there are adults that work two jobs and that's fine. So this is always another way to earn money. You have your daily activity that you have to go to and then you take an actual other job once it's cleared by your company and you that's your part-time job. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and share this with your friends who you know might want to know this too. And don't forget to come back next week because I'm here every week and watch some of my other videos. Like why not? I mean, we got a whole heap of videos, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.